what's on my desk today? Well, today I have got the Archetypes cards by Caroline Mace. This is a wonderful deck of cards. This is the first deck I think that I ever bought, actually. I didn't even know tarot. I didn't have a tarot deck. I, I knew nothing about anything. But this was the first thing that I ever got, and I got it many, many years ago. And it's such a precious deck for me because it so beautifully illustrates all the different archetypal patterns that are kind of like, well, they're kind of like characters, they're kind of like masks, they're kind of like things that we do. You know, we all know, for example, so this is the deck here. And if we take a look at all the different ones, I mean, we all have an eternal child. We all have an inner child, don't we? We all know what it is to be a warrior sometimes. Sometimes we have to be a warrior, don't we? You know, there's, look at this, the damsel. Everybody knows a damsel. Everyone knows someone in distress who... Let's see, the light attributes, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself, right? There's all these different things. The saboteur, we've all done it. We've all sabotaged ourselves, haven't we? You know, these archetypes are just incredible. And one of the things I love about this card set is that it's really brilliant at kind of isolating a portion of someone's psyche or patterns of behavior, things like that. It's really incredible. And whether or not you do card readings or, or anything like that, this, this uh, set is very fascinating. It's, it's a really, really good set. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, actually, this deck is the whole reason why I created this What's on My Desk category. And the reason I've created this video series is because what I want to do is I want to go through each archetype in turn. And the first one is going to be the artist. Okay, so I'm just about to record a video on the artist. You'll see how I'm going to do these. The artist archetype is very simple. It's just, I'll tell you now, it's Venus and Mercury conjunct or Venus lauded by Mercury or Mercury lauded by Venus. Okay, so really, really simple. Uh, so the artist archetype will be the first one that I do. But what I want to do is I want to go through each one of these in turn and do a video on it and, and show you how I see them astrologically. I'll give you another example. Just a couple of days ago, I did a reading for someone. Now that person has Merc uh, Mars Rahu conjunct in Aries in the fifth house. And I said, you're a pioneer. You're going to create something new. We've got creativity in the fifth house. We've got Aquarius, which is innovation. We've got Mars. Mars is going to do something. And Rahu is going to bring that original twist, right? So we can read a person archetypally. And that's one of the things I do for you in your readings. Typically, especially if I'm doing a one and a half hour reading for one of you, I will set aside a portion of the time of that reading to talk about you archetypally, how I see you archetypally. What are some other archetypes? You know, through tarot, uh, I've learned things like, okay, the hermit, right? What's that? That's Virgo. Okay. And I've learned that through, through tarot. So it'll be interesting to go through tarot because tarot also has astrology for every single card in its realm. But this, I haven't seen anyone put together, you know, the astrology of every single archetype. I think this is going to be really, really interesting. Um, you know, the queen that we have as part of our planetary cabinet, that's just the moon, you know. So some of these will be kind of, and I'm thinking like, like how we've got a Mahadasha. I think we'll have Maha archetypes as well, right? And one of those could be, so the moon, I, I think the moon is like a Maha archetype you know the queen the moon boom you know and then we've got the sun uh the sun the king right or the sun the father okay so we'll explore all these different things i also thought that we could look at some more modern archetypes now caroline mace published this deck uh before the term narcissist was a big deal and you know obviously thanks to professor sam vackman and many others 
the term narcissist has become mainstream. Everybody is using that term. They're throwing it around, right? But if we have a look at, you know, a collection of archetypes together. So let's take a look at how about these together? So we've got, I'm going to say, oh, I'll take the thief out. Maybe that's a bit, maybe that's not quite it. But like, if you look at that, vampire, addict, bully, and what have we got there, trickster, you know, these elements, you will find them in a narcissist. So I thought it could be cool to um, take a look at some kind of grand archetypes, break them down and, you know, look at look at some of the subsets and, and things like that to see what we can see through a person's chart. Now, where did I get this idea to look at a profession, a profession like archi architect. Is architect in here? I think it is. Oh, gossip. Lady Colin Campbell. I do watch a bit of Lady C now and then. Um, so we can have like figures in modern times if we can have a little peek at their chart, but we can also have a look at figures in history. I think that's what I'm really keen to do. I'm really keen to look at figures from history and we'll be able to look at, you know, kings and queens of times gone by. But I'm looking for architect here. I'm sure architect is in here. But the thing is with architects, so when I did the video, the master's video on Zaha Hadid, I looked at the charts of, I think it was five to seven top architects. And I wanted to see what's in common. What do all these people have in common? And it was really interesting what I observed there, that Libra featured strongly and so too did and or the seventh house, which was really interesting. I wasn't quite expecting that. But that taught me some new things about that section of the zodiac. And that's been really useful for me in readings that I do with you guys. Now, where I got this idea to say, for example, whoops, just like messing up my shelf there, everything's falling down. Um, where I got the idea to look at, say, for example, a profession, and then let's look at several charts at least. If I could look at five to 10 charts, if I could look at 20 charts, I mean, it just depends on how much time I have, but I'll do my best. But the thing is, in this book, somewhere in this book, uh, Hart Defoe and Robert Svoboda, they do say that you should, as an activity, you should sit with all the different professions and then look up famous people per profession and see what you can draw from those charts as a pattern and start to identify that and then you can start to pin certain things down. And that is something that I want to do in here as well because, of course, as part of this archetype, uh, card set that Caroline Mace has as I say she's got things in here I'm sure she's got architect I know she's got engineer in here for sure and that I think will be just so fascinating to go through that and see if we can find some astrological patterns that that will really resonate with people who do those things or exhibit those behaviors or have that archetype so i hope this series is going to be interesting for you guys the other thing about this series is sorry about that the other thing about this series is that so i am doing this for my own personal learning if you guys watch the troubleshooting series i'll link it above that series was a series of nine episodes and that was that, that was a series that taught me a lot. And I remember as I was doing it the week before when I had to prep my notes, uh, a lot of downloads came through, a lot of guidance came through. And I actually learned a huge amount by doing that series. So I hope the same thing is going to happen in this series. Let's see what happens. I'm eager to go on this journey. I hope you're excited to come on this journey with me. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record the first one. It's going to be very short. And some of them might be longer in length, depending on what we're talking about. But if you're keen to go on this journey with me, uh, you can let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.